Okay, hello guys and girls. How are we doing? Thank you for joining me and welcome back to another episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are now working our way towards buying a new garage, a second truck and hiring someone to work for me. That's what I'm working towards, that's what I've decided. That's what I'm going to do. I've just have a, had a proper faff with this trailer. For some reason, it, uh, it took my acceptance of the job offer off and I kept trying to hook up to the trailer and I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't get it. I couldn't pick it up, I don't know why. I faffed about with it for about 10 minutes and I had to go back and re-accept the job. So that's what I've done. But we have the trailer now, we're going to Arlborg. I think that's where it said, I think. Uh, I did a recording yesterday where I went to a place in France. It was the first time going to France. I recorded a 35 minute episode and it had no audio. The computer audio was on, but uh, me talking. So I was just sat here going. Like that. 35 minutes. Oh, shucks, I went wrong lane. Shucks. And I forgot what I've told you. I forgot what I said in that video. I had quite a lot of important information in that video. But. Is that th still 30? Yeah, okay. Um, I had quite a lot of important information in that video. But. Because I said it all in that video, I, um, I've erased it from my brain, you know what you do? I've, I've thrown the post-it note away, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a bit gutted at that, to be fair. I mean, it, you know, first trip to France. The roads in France are not very nice, I remember that. They go from like 31 to 56, back to 31, then 43, then 50, then 30. And it's just like, what are you doing? You're trying to keep on top of the speed limits over there, it's just crazy. Oh my lord, what am I doing? What's going on with my driving? I mean, what's going on with this? It's always like a deep crap off. This is 700 miles, this. It's going to be some hell of a drive. Oh, man. I'll be back. messages and all sorts going on, what the hell, I've left my phone over there so I weren't distracted by it this time, in yesterday's episode my phone was there and my kids were uploading YouTube videos constantly all the way through it and messaging me telling me to watch and whatnot, they've made two YouTube channels and they're just playing games on the phone and recording them and playing it, keys to the road, whatever tickles your fancy kids, you crack up, you crack up, so, uh, one surprise for you that only people from this channel know. I bought a new GoPro. Now I've got two. So I can have a front facing camera and a me facing camera. Which is new. Fire. 
don't go writing home about it, will you not? Uh, wow, look at me sleep thing. Holy smokes. And my fuel. So, we'll see if we can make it to the boat. And I think you sleep on the boat, don't you? Oh, sorry. I'm sure you sleep on the boat. About. So, we'll try and make it there. Wow, that's that's close. Zoom out, son. Zoom out. Where we, oh my lord, that's a drive and a half. Jeez. It's going to take some while to get there, isn't it? One minute. Oh well. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Um. Yeah, I'm out of work this week, fortunately. You will see on Friday's vlog, a bit of a spoiler. I got uh, turned away on Friday's vlog. I got told to go to Crew, which is a place I've never been before, for three loads of organic waste. And when I got there, he said, I've not got three loads for you. I've only got one. Like, right, okay. Phone the boss, see what he says. And the boss said, just go back for it when he's got it. I said, okay. Okay, okay, no worries. Went back to the yard. Tipped it off, which took forever. It got stuck. Uh, and then come home. Recorded an episode of this that failed miserably. I was supposed to be going out tomorrow with the wife. I'm sure the speed limit just... It were a national speed limit sign then when we come off that. When them roadworks finished it was a national speed limit sign. Which means 60 mile an hour. Man. Yeah, I was supposed to be going to WGR if you've watched my latest vlog. That trailer's no wheels. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We're free. Whoa. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> we nearly lost it then. I was um, supposed to be going to WGR, that really, really bumpy place. If you've watched my most recent vlog, you'll know about it. I'm just going to take the missus with me, which would have been a barrel of laughs. Would have been really funny. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen now because I've just spoke to the boss and he said they've cancelled their orders. So, I don't know. I don't like being sat at home. I hate it. Not good. This is not good at all. Especially not when missus is at work. It's quite in that. Oh dear. Gotta take Gracie for her injections later on as well. That'll be fun. I mean, why don't you cut in a bit closer, mate? Grief. So yeah, that's you up to date. Um, I'm not looking this week. Hopefully I'll be back on next week. Fingers crossed, be out all week. I don't know whether I'm getting paid for being off this week. I don't know whether I'm being classed as furloughed or whether I'll have to take days holidays because of it. Or what? I've absolutely no idea. I think actually when I've finished. <sighs>
What the feck was that? Oh no, don't sorry, don't no, sorry. I had my feet off the pedals, man. So weird. Have a bit of number eight action, shall we? Oh, look at that. Cinematic views. Go on, son. Shout to me for doing a night job. That's the plan. Pull into the service station. Right, where do I kit then? Where do I kit here? Oh my god, you uh, Press the following key to stop the engine. Um, what's drive button 19? Oh shucks. Oh no. Just press E, you feckin' door. Oh, my god. Press and hold. You better go faster than that, son. Look at that, that's a pity rate tank, that is. 550 litres, man. Reef. Right, I'm guessing I can park here. Can I park here? Yes, I can. Right, I need to know what this drive button 19 is. What is it? Plus button. Plus button, you dog. Right, we're resting. Ah, two it morning. Are you serious? That's, that's a night job and they don't like night jobs. Do you not know this? Mate, I'll fast forward this bit. I know you don't like driving at night. We'll crack on. Shiver me timbers. Where did he come from?
Well, aren't you a cockhead? Oh, my lord. I knew that was going to happen. So, because I had that nap, which I needed to have, because I'd done four and a half hours driving, I needed to have a nap. I had a funny feeling that when I started driving again, it was going to, uh, when I got on the ball, right which side of the road do I drive on here now? Right hand side of the road over here. Left, where do I drive when I'm at home? I'm on left hand side, so I drive on right here, you know, cross me, right. So, because I got on the ball, I had a funny feeling it was gonna wake me up again, or dock whatever you want to call it. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. When I'm walking in my sleep. And it has done. It's done exactly that. We've started at 10 to 12. You guys shout at me for nighttime jobs. And I can't go and have another nap because this is a timed delivery. Six hours left to do it. It's expected at Monday at 10 to 8. Really? So I can sleep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm sure there's a rest rest area here. It's a petrol station. I won't have a kip. Up there for thinking, down there for dancing. And in the middle for romancing. Anything, man. Oh, I get. Oh shit! I'm guessing that lights me trailer. <laughs> Woo. I don't know where I am, man. All right, my trailer is pointing. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> look at that! Nailed it! Look at that! Nailed it! Right, can I go to sleep? No. It's an hotel. Of course I can go to sleep. What am I here for? in there trying to find out anything and everything. It'll be bloody morning anyway. Hey, forget that. Come on. That's a crime scene. Let's go, lads. No one saw anything. Come on. No. We're not indicating. We're not letting anyone know which way we're going. Come on. Floor it, son. Straight over roundabout. No one will know a thing. No, no, no minis! I hate minis! Oh, yes. Come on, son. Look at that. No curbs there or anything. Just, just 
skills for days. Same again, same again, you ready? Whoosh. Come on, son. Raw. Raw. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. See, we'll never be caught. Never. Simulation at its finest. Speeding as well. Good grief. Hey, look at that. That's a fancy sign, isn't it? So what what we're taking this roundabout on. Yeah. Is this an actual lit? Is this what they call the, the hard shoulder over here? I don't know, but I'm in it. Anyway, nighttime driving, no good. Skip! Okay, so we are 30, 29 miles, 28 miles from destination, 27 miles from destination. We are heading directly towards Alborg. Alborg. It has been a boring drive. Danish motorways, that's what you want to call them. I don't get why the 50 mile an hour. I'm not going to lie, I've done 56 all the way here. Don't, are all European motorways 50 mile an hour? I mean that video I did with France apart from the speeds being all over bleeding show. I'm sure they were 56. I don't know. I don't know. Ugh. Look at that sun rising. Well, the sun. The sun's shining. Making it look all pretty in the, in the distance. That's what I'm getting at. Getting that for prettiness. So we will try and upgrade our garage, a garage, at some point, and buy a very cheap Iveco because well, they're terrible, and hire a driver and see how much money that will make us. That's the plan. But if I remember rightly from the last time we tried to upgrade the garage. It costs a small fortune to upgrade your garage. Your garage. Sorry. It costs a lot of money. So, I don't know, but I'll have a look. I'll have a look when I finish this, because I think when I finish this mission as well, I will be a level 10, which means I can upgrade the Volvo. I don't know what I can upgrade it to, but I'm sure it gives me so it gives me something at level 10. I might be able to put beacons on it as well. Big bright beacons. Which would be cool. Well that's just wasting money really, isn't it? But not actually necessary. Uh, one thing I said in the last vlog that I've just remembered, it's just come to me now, is I don't know when my PC is going to be coming. Or when I'm actually going to order it. Because, again, if you watch my last vlog, you said I had a bit of a, a, bit of a problem in, with the family. And now I don't know if I can actually afford the one I wanted. Now, it's not about price or cost or anything like that. I don't want to have a better PC than anybody else or anything like that. It's not to show off, but what I want is a PC that can manage to do everything that I want it to do. I don't want to spend just, you know, like a thousand pound on a PC and it just about cope or I have to use reduced settings on something. If I'm going to spend money on a PC, I might as well spend a fair amount of money on a PC and have it well, have it for life, basically. Not need to mess about with it, not need to upgrade it, because I'm thick. That's why I want to spend quite a lot on it, so that I know it's going to be right, it's going to work. I wonder if I can see, I wonder if I can see where I'm actually parking. I hope I can.
pitch black that. Proper pitch black. But anyway, let's get rid of that trailer. We're done, we're sorted, we should be level 10. Happy days. Happy days, level 10. Let's see what unlocks. Oh, what am I doing here? High value cargo, uh, long distance. Deliveries up to 528 miles. Or oh, I could do dynamite, gas, flammable liquids. Oh man. Oh, we'll just. You told me to go for long distance, we'll keep going long distance. We'll do that. Uh, truck upgrades. Let's see what we've got available to us for the Volvo. Side skirts, happy days, chrome door handles. Tag lift, yeah. I shift for the F16 Classic. Very cool. Very cool. Should I should I buy a trailer? Let me know if I, if you think I should buy a trailer. I might I might buy a curtain insider or something like that. But uh, what would I say? Can't remember what I was saying. I forgot completely. But yeah, I want to buy a computer that's gonna blitz everything I need it to do. I want it to work efficiently. I want to play this on the top graphics setting. I want to be able to install all the mods, all the DLCs, pro mods and all that, and it still works flawlessly without any interruptions. I want to be able to record, I want to be able to live stream, I want to be able to edit my footage, I want to be able to do all of that on it without any hiccups or anything. So that's why I want a proper PC. That's why I want to spend a lot of money on it so that I can get something that's going to work flawlessly. That's my plan anyway. But this has gone on for way. I've actually been recording for 50 minutes. It's took me 50 minutes to do that mission. Wow. God, that we're all on them. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, good. If you've enjoyed this episode, good. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see a bit more of me doing this, and I'm going to play other games as well, but I think I might wait till I get my PC. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Much love. Peace out to you all. Subscribe if you want to see a bit more. Bye 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 bye.